Bantang has three subspecies in Indonesia. Bos javanicus javanicus spread on the islands of Java, Madura and Bali. Bos javanicus loei has a distribution area on the island of Borneo and other subspecies outside Indonesia, namely Bos javanicus burmanicus which is found in Indochina, namely Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, and Malaysia. The Kalimantan banteng is a type of wild animal with even hoofs and is a mammal in the large ruminant group. Bulls include wild animals that live in groups, led by an older adult female bull. The size of the banteng group in each type of habitat ecosystem is a strategy for social behavior in group defense from food and predation factors. The number of each group ranged from 10 to 12 individuals. The grouping is a basic strategy for survival, optimal use of feed, mating, rearing and rearing children, as well as self-defense from predators. Bulls exhibit sexual dimorphism, where males and females can be distinguished in appearance. His body is sturdy, strong, big, the front shoulders are higher than the back of his body. In general, the body size of Bos javanicus javanicus in Java is the largest, then Bos javanicus burmanicus in Indochina, while Bos javanicus loei in Kalimantan is the smallest. The hallmark of the bull is that it has white stripes on the buttocks, the legs from the knees down as if they are wearing white socks, and the upper and lower lips are white. Bos javanicus loei is a subspecies of banteng found only on the island of Borneo. The distribution of the Kalimantan banteng is very limited and its population is continuously decreasing. The morphology of the Kalimantan banteng is no different from the other two subspecies, namely on the buttocks there are white stripes, the legs from the knees down as if they are wearing white socks but do not have white or pale brown spots above the eyes and white bands around the eyes. Muzzle. Based on the size of the Kalimantan banteng, it is smaller than other subspecies. Quantitative data on the Kalimantan banteng population was only obtained from conservation areas such as Kutai National Park and Kayan Mentorang National Park. While data on the number of banteng populations in non-conserved areas has not yet been reported. The presence of banteng in the upper Balantican area, central Kalimantan was reported in November 2007 and April 2008. The Bantang population in Upper Balantican has been reconfirmed based on camera trap data in 2013. Meanwhile, in the Sabah area, it is estimated that population of greater than 52 individuals in Taban Wildlife Reserve, greater than 35 individuals in Malua Forest Reserve, and around 100 individuals in Kalamba Forest Reserve. Hunting is one of the threats that directly affects the decline in the Bantang population. Hunting for them is an important routine activity that is still being carried out until now. However, the community admits that the Bantang is not the main target in hunting. Bull hunting is only done if you happen to meet a bull in the forest during hunting. Therefore, only a small number of respondents have ever known information about Bantang hunting around the village area and the majority stated that they did not know. Bull hunting has occurred since the 1970s to 1990s and from 2000 to 2010. Apart from hunting, other threats are logging, mining and shifting activities carried out in the vicinity of Bantang habitats such as Pilite and Rada.